When I first began, I know you'd find it hard to grasp and understand. And you'd wonder how such a thing could be that could change my life and destiny and rewrite. Write the pages of my history. I fell in love with a king. I fell in love with a king. Over. Are gone, even rights my wrongs. I fell in love. I fell in love. Oh, I fell in love with a king. Seventy-six years ago, and I've never seen a world like this one. Not just the number systems for employees in Sweden and other places of the world. Not just Ukraine being bombarded hourly as Russians fly in to kill all the babies and all the little nurseries and the children's schools in Ukraine. We pray for the 3,000 churches, 3,000 pastors. We pray for every believer in the Ukraine today. But Father, in our own little world, we have to navigate through evil. There's several sides to take. One, as you said in Exodus 14, 14, that God would fight our battles for us. We've seen that happen on many occasions. There's another side where you sit for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers. There's another place you told us to put on the whole armor. Well, if you're fighting for us, there's no reason for us to put on armor. So. There are several positions, depending on context, throughout the whole Bible. And Lord, I feel, before I share the miracle of the day and take people into the teaching I did at 12, I want to especially pray for those that are battling an enemy they cannot see, an enemy they cannot wound, and they don't quite know what to do. Lord, you stirred me on this. Evil doesn't wear horns. Weevil, evil me- wears a smile. Amen. I 
I think Pastor Adam may call in a second here. There she is. Pastor Anna, are you there? Yes, Dr. Murdoch, I am here. Good. And happy birthday month, Dr. Murdoch. We celebrate you, sir, every day this month. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 76, April the 1st, 22 Many things have happened in the last 48 hours. Many things have happened in the last 24 hours. And before I take you by video right into my teaching today, it's uh, six minutes after five, and I wanted to give you a moment to gather your thoughts here at Prayer World. And I want to talk to you about a topic called Navigating Through Evil. This is important. This is vital. I remember when the newspapers and TV assaulted Joel Osteen, one of the sweetest men you've ever met in your life, 30,000 people. And because he didn't open up real fast parts of his church for people who were running for shelter, they came against him with knives, swords. I know what that's like. And for some reason, this is not for everybody. This is just a few minutes before I take you to the victory side of the mountain. I want to say Brazil is here, Japan. Bill and Valerie, you won't regret this tonight. You won't regret this tonight. Valerie, you're very expressive, very open, friendly, warm. Bill is more reticent, reluctant, and observing. And he's protected you many times, I'm sure, because you're so loving and warm to people. But he just watches and observes, and that's wise. And what I'm about to share is good, especially good for your coming ministry, before you buy land, before you do real estate business. Stay close with me. Pastor John. Canada's here. Jerry Jones from Ohio. Yay, Jerry. I like those that's words. It's, it's important. Navigating through evil, you slow everything down. And you catch on to whispers. Evil isn't screamed. It's whispered. Why don't you do this? Why not? That's okay, that's okay. I've met some of the most evil people in business. I've met some of the most evil people in my lifetime the last 90 days. One was a partner. Sat here in my home and handed me an offer that was the most insulting, disrespectful thing for some real estate. But he had been in my home, stayed in my home for several days, and I trusted him. The snake is not ugly, and you must realize that. The snakes among humans are not ugly. They smile. They don't enter with horns. They rarely enter with a knife. They enter smiling. Can you navigate through evil. I've never seen the world in this kind of shape. Taicha, Japan. Taicha, I think you need to hire a new person. Look at all your paperwork, all your visas. Hire someone different. They're clever. There are several different temperaments that are clever. I won't name the areas, but you've got to see that. David Trujillo, bringing the bomb of wisdom. Oh, I wish tonight was, David, I will move there in just a few moments to the bomb, not the B-O-M-B, folks, B-A-L-M, the healing. 
Apostle Sonia. She's here. I've got good news for you coming up. Apostle Sonia, Karen, Renee, Nadine Coleman from Louisiana. Nadine, I didn't realize you was from Louisiana. Wow. Yay, anxious to see you. Sarah Kate. It's all right. Kate, confusion is a, is a sign. Confusion is a conversation that somebody in your environment is out of place. That's all confusion is. You got a liar in the place of leadership. Doris Barnett, Zachary Shaw, Carolyn Carson, a meager evangelist RR. Let me move quick and make it short so we can get back. I want what I taught today at 12 was profound and to see the miracle of God. Here's the one to say navigating through evil. Number one, number one, you're going to get through it. That's number one. You're going to get through it. It will slow you down, break your focus, and it possibly has the influence of becoming your, your focus and an obsession. It won't. There's some of you going through some things right now and say something's wrong. That's the first thing you start saying. Something's not right here. And you slow everything down to the speed of analysis. Slow everything down to the speed of examination. Slow everything happening in your life right now down to where you can examine and check the history of those around you. A Judas has got to the table. That's all. Absalom has suddenly showed his colors. Number one, you're going to get through the evil. Number two, you'll be wiser than you've ever been in your whole life when it's all said and done. You will see life totally different. Three, it's preventable. Four, access the advice and the counsel of those you trust and those who trust you. Increase the conversations. Express your unspoken fears. Express them. I have a fear that this person may have this problem. And someone else says, I can tell you a fact about that. Conversation is the birthplace for wisdom. Conversation is the birthplace for protection. Conversation is the birthplace for clarity. Conversation is the seed for stripping confusion of its power in your life. Yes. Number one, you're going to get through this. You're going to get through it. Number two, attack occurs before your resurrection. The crucifixion is the seed for tomorrow. You will not live at this you will not live at the crucifixion. You will not live at the place of confusion. It's a place you're walking through. Job didn't stay sick. Jesus did not stay buried. Yes. But you must navigate. There are several positions about God fighting a battle for us. Several positions. One is Exodus 14, 14, which I really like that position. God, the Lord's going to fight your battles for you. Oh, I love that. Oh, relax. I, everything's over. Ah, all right, yay. Everything's over. God's going to do it. There's another position on the Christian battlefield where he told you 
to take on the full armor of God. Oh, okay. I thought, I like the Exodus 14 scripture. Me too. But in this scenario, we've shifted books in the Bible. We're at a different place now. What do you mean we're at a different place? God just said, put on the whole armor. What? Sword of the Spirit. Breastplate of righteousness. We can get all preachy there. There's another position. You wrestle not, Ephesians 6, 12. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Oh, wait, wait, no. This isn't a fight against people. It's a spirit war that's happening around you. You remember the angel saying to Daniel, I left God's presence the day you prayed. You started a 21-day fast, and I was dispatched by the Holy Spirit to come to you. I ran into battalions of angels that stopped me and all the angels from arriving. We've been stopped for 20 days. What? That's a different kind of war, yeah. There's many parts of life. Navigate through evil. First, listen to the Holy Spirit. You're going to be okay if you listen to the Holy Spirit. Let me give you some one-liners. Bill and Valerie, this is for you. Because I think... <clears throat> Bill, when I, when I think about you in prayer... I see a glitch in some of your planes coming up. Someone, someone's going to throw something in a contract or somebody's going to try to stop or somebody's going to try to work your mercy side and your grace side. Both of you are very full of grace toward people. There's going to be an attempt to create a glitch in all your real estate. I said this at 12... At 5, I said this at 518, Friday, April the 1st, 222, because I document all prophetic visions, all prophetic pictures that God gives me. I document it. I want you to remember that when I play this incredible victory that I just shared at 12 o'clock noon. It happened this morning. What are some one-liners navigating through evil? Number one, you're blind to a lot of evil. Accept it. God doesn't reveal everything to you. God doesn't show everything to you. Your focus creates your blindness. If I'm focused on north, there's somebody south here is coming up behind my rear and I can't see them. Focus is necessary for extraordinary success. That's why you must have those six, seven circles around you, the circle of comfort, the circle of inspiration, the circle of caution, the circle of mentorship. There's seven circles of people's influence around you that you want to keep. You can't make it by yourself. Adam was created before there was even a devil hanging around his ears. Adam didn't wake up every morning to breakfast with the devil. And yet... A deceiver was in his garden. Every garden has a deceiver. That's a good sermon title, isn't it? Yes, sir. Every garden has a deceiver. As much as I love McDonald's, it creates, would you, it creates heartburn, for mm -hmm. hours, every, every oh. cup I drink, heartburn, and it's my favorite. But if, so if you see me going up and down, I understand that. Evil enters smiling. Enter, evil doesn't come in your house outside with machine guns. Evil doesn't curse you out. 
The evil puts a hand behind your shoulder. Hello, my friend. Evil enters as a friend. Now, I hate saying that because we have so many good friends, but we want to remember that. What are some things to remember? One line wisdom keys for this battle scene. Battle doesn't always have the sound of battle. Sometimes it has the sound of caressing. Delilah never held a knife to the throat of Samson. She was the seed for his tragedy. She was the seed for his tragedy. Her goal was distraction. Her ultimate goal was some money from the Philistines. Samson's goal was escape from the stress of life. He just wanted to be in the arms of a loving woman. That's a normal, normal man desire. In fact, if you don't have that desire, you probably got a different kind of problem. The Sodom and Gomorrah problem. Good. He can wait for me. The disrespect is a photograph of evil character. I told a preacher, a famous preacher, a lot of people know, he's well known all around the world. He's got 200 preachers under him. He's at my house this very second where I lived for many years. I'm saying this for a reason. There's an old, old saying, love is blind. We used to laugh at that. It's not funny. Love only looks for good. Paul got lost in 1 Corinthians 13. Oh, love thinks no evil. Oh, love. Well, that has its place. But the moment your spirit becomes uncomfortable with somebody and you know something's wrong, slow everything down to the speed of analysis, the speed of examination. I have 500,000, 535,000 in my hand. Told the realtor, I want to buy this house. I want to buy everything in it. They want to keep one picture. I said, that's fine. But I want to buy everything exactly like it looks. I want to move into this house exactly with everything in its place. Here's 535,000. Fix them up a contract. Well, we've got to put something down as escrow if you change your mind in three to five days. I said, okay, $10,000. If I change my mind in five days, they keep the 10000 for holding it for me for three days, five days. I'm reading it later. You want to read every contract aloud in the presence of at least two to three people. Every contract. I've never seen a right contract in 76 years of my life. And I've bought house after house after house. and car. I've bought everything. I've had every kind of contract you can name. The purpose of the contract in the legal mind is protection. Protect who? Mm -hmm. But in that environment, the evil starts the conversation. It's yes. in a conversation that things get off, off course. So I'm reading with two of my people. We have three sets of the contract. I'm excited about the house. I've got the cash in my briefcase for it. I'm ready. Put a $10,000 clause in there. If I back out in three to five days, they can keep the 10000 And we're reading along happily and merrily. Yes, 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 yes. And suddenly, in the contract is 50000 They have wow. just inserted 50000 Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, what happened here? You have to navigate 
through the waves of evil on the ocean of life. Mike, that's an exception. I'm 76. Today's the first day of my birthday month, April the 1st. I've never seen an exception. Mm. Everywhere there's money. There's a crook with angel wings in the arena or trying to get there. There's no gathering of money without the gathering of demon spirits. Mm. Now, I don't want to tell you about all the, you know, one day my CPA calls me. I'm 37 years old. I've hired a girl out of War Roberts University that came to every one of my services for two years. And she's there, and she's nice and sweet. And my CPA calls me, Jim Gwynn. He's a multimillionaire. He says, Brother Mike, are you aware that your manager is writing herself $1,000 checks every month? Hmm. What? Wow. I call her in, sit her down. I says, are you writing yourself $1,000 checks? And she looked at me very paused and said a word and says, I believe I need an attorney, a lawyer. I said, well, go get them. Let's come back. Something's wrong here. Never saw her again. Sent police for her. They searched for her for two years. Could never find her. If I had it over again, I wouldn't face her like that. Never confront a liar. Never confront a deceiver because they have a path. They know if you do this, they say this, and they can keep right on going. I'm sorry, it's not an apology. It's an escape hatch for evil. Oh, I misunderstood you. I, oh, I didn't know that's what you meant. I, oh, pastor's wife, a preacher's wife, who worked with a famous, famous TV ministry here in Dallas, came to work for me. A man came in one day and he told one of my people, I hope, Dr. Murdoch don't let her close to his checkbooks. Why? She's got, she's got an embezzlement charge against her in court right now against a hospital is suing her for embezzlement. What? What had she done? In three months, she had wiped out $250,000 out of all my ministry in 12 wow. weeks. I put her in jail. That wasn't the point. That wasn't the point. The point was while Mike was preaching, loving on people, praise God, printing 23 million books, handing them around the world, Judas was back at my table counting the mail, counting the mail, counting the mail, looking at the offerings. Where'd the cash go? I didn't know I was preaching. She had gone to a girl who worked for me seven years, Lisa. I loved her, thought she was wonderful. Took her out to lunch. Lunch is an invitation to confidentiality. Lunch is not that somebody has some extra money and they could, they could have just handed you the $50 and let you go home. No, no, there's something more here. When somebody you don't even hardly know well says, let's, let's go to lunch. Well, well, where are we going here? What, what's the purpose of time together? And she took my friend, my sec financial secretary out and said, Dr. Murdoch wants you to write him a check to cash. Cash. He's on, mm. he's on bless some preachers. But he, don't. he said, if you mention, talk to him about it, he'll fire you. Here's a 12-week secretary, preacher's wife, telling my financial secretary. I told her later, I said, but I never write a check to cash. I never would. I will never write a check to cash. I want to know where it's going. What's this for? Do it. Follow my protocol. Rebellion to protocol is the first proof that evil is present in your environment. You say, I would like this. Uh-huh. Could we do it this way? Well, I'd rather you do it this way. Yeah, but if we could do it this way. If we could do it this way, if we could do it this way, if we could, wait, 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 where, wait, wait, wait. Resistance to me, the leader? You gonna resist me? I 
I've never had a good person leave my life. 76 years. I've never had a good person leave my life. Mm. Never have. Crooked as snakes. But I didn't find it out always quickly. Navigating through evil. Let me stop. It's 531. Bill Valerie, Pastor John, Renee Poole, Shaza, Julie, Joseph, slow everything down to the speed of analysis. You'll thank me one day for that. Dr. Brown, today at 12 o'clock is one of the greatest moves of God, and it's still happening right now. Gozi Martin said, I'm yet to recover from the 12 p.m. session. I'll take you there in just a few seconds. When you sense that something's not right, slow everything down, verify, confirm, and wherever there's resentment, there's resistance. Wherever there's resentment of you, who you are, what you've done, what you've accomplished, wherever there's resentment, there's envy. There will be resistance. But the resistance will be passive aggressive to your face. They won't curse you out because you'd kick them out of the office. I want to say this again. I've never had a good person leave my life. Crooked, yes. Takers, deceptive, lying, maneuvering, yes. But I found out that People of integrity love my presence. They're safe there. But when they're afraid of discovery, they disconnect. They disconnect when they're afraid. Why did Judas leave right in the middle of supper? Why? He had a different plan. Wow. Thank you, Jill Rhodes, Jackie, Brian, and Nicole. Apostle Sonia, that's a good illustration. The moment someone hides information from you, that they know you would want to know. They say, oh, oh, I didn't know you. Oh, I thought you knew that. I know all those reactions. Deception is evil, any way you look at it. Navigate. Take your time, take it easy, move slow, move, move careful. Now, immaturity and incompetence and stupidity, that's another world. I'm not talking about that world. That's part of the world too. That's why you can't quite decide who's right and wrong. It's okay. If people are ignorant, they will admire you for being smart. So anyone that doesn't admire you is evil. Wait, 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 Brother Mike. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Anybody that doesn't see the God in you, anybody that doesn't value the God in you, you think somebody can look at all that I've done for God and travel and the books I've written by the hundreds, by the millions, and then be treat me like a dog? They're as evil as Lucifer ever considered being. I even admire goodness among sinners. I admire goodness among anybody. And when someone doesn't admire that, protect that, love that, etc. Navigate through evil. Slow everything down. Slow everything down to the speed of accuracy, excellence, and fairness. A man's presented me something a few days ago here at my home. And I looked at him in shock. I says, you believe this is fair? Mm -hmm. And he stared at me and says, that's my offer. I said, I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you that. I asked you if you thought this was fair. Well, that's what I I said, just answer my question. 
One of the penetrating parts of my life is I ask very penetrating questions. I ask the penetrating questions from my God. Why wouldn't I ask it from other people? I'm very much in the questions. Did you get my message? Did you know what I wanted? Why did you ignore that? Uh, uh, oh, well, I, I was busy. I, I said, why did you ignore my message to you? One of the great advantages I have of my life is many people think I'm real, real stupid. And that's, a, that's an advantage. It helps me to see their heart quicker. I've been amazed at how many people think I'm really, really stupid. But uh, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not stupid. But it's an advantage when people think you're stupid because they will show their heart during that time. Slow everything down, slow everything down. I learned when I was a boy to lift my hand when I said, I didn't understand what you just said. Blah, 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 blah. And everybody laughed. I said, I said, I didn't understand what you just said. Say it again real slow for me. I will slow every angel around me down to my speed. I will slow everything down to my speed till I'm ready, till I know your heart. I'm a man who's lost a whole lot through life through trusting evil hearts. The biggest mistake you'll ever make is trusting someone's love because they know how to talk to you with cleverness, even with tone. Slow everything down to the speed of rightness, yes. the speed of accuracy. Father, navigating through evil is the is a title of a compassionate, caring mentor. It's a mentor's voice. It's a protective voice. It's a protective voice. It's a protective voice. Now, Lord, as I take everybody into my 12 o'clock teaching to tell them about a miracle it's out of this world and how it can work for them. I ask you first, open our eyes, open our understanding. Teach us your ways. Show us all crooks. Show us all snakes in our garden. And give us the ability, give us the ability to stay silent, stay quiet when we discern a snake in our world. Be yes. real quiet. Be real quiet. Be real, real quiet. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes. Mallory, I like those words. Quote, you bring hard truth in such an enjoyable package, you cannot thank you enough. Darren Shortridge, you have my curiosity. What did you do about the $50,000 deposit? I walked away and tore the contract up. Thank you, dear. I didn't finish that illustration. I did that to at least three or four houses where they changed. The moment you sense a crook in the deal, slightly, quietly move past when something is being hidden from you. Don't try to get extra smart. Discern, discern, what someone was trying to do to you, discern it. In my presence, in my presence, I had an auctioneer take a $2.4 million home I had and sell it to a man with me standing, raising my hand, stopping the auction because nobody was doing it. He sold it to a man for $210,000. Took me $600,000 loss. I had to sue the auctioneer to get back some of the money. You can't even imagine the crookedness on the earth. 
I walked into a church that had a brochure that I stated at the end of all my services when I finished preaching, I would turn the service back to a, to a preacher to receive my offering. I walked in one night at 15 till 8. He was receiving the offering for me. The people hadn't even met me yet, hadn't heard me yet. He was receiving the offering the first 15 minutes before he even turned the service over to me. Pittsburgh, pastor took 50% of the offering. 50% of the offering. I could go down the list. Folks, the world is a crooked place. It's a deceptive place. And I'm saying that to make you meticulous and careful and watch over anything before you sign any contract. Read it over. Have three people read it over. Slow it down. Let me give you one more. Joseph Obinge says, I love those words, son. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cato. Donna Anderson. Mike Dice. That $1,000 seed is a turnaround seed, Mike. I want to stay connected to you in the next 45 days. I think it was 42 today. I think it was 42 days. 42 days God showed me that something's going to happen on the $1,000 seed. 42 days. Just remember I said that. Uh, 18, 19 minutes until 6 o'clock when I said that on Friday, April the 1st, 22-2. Watch your money. Watch your money. Be careful, be sensitive. Stop everything. Do you understand where every dollar goes? Keep a record of every receipt. I'll get into that later. The other night I did a, a little talk to a young man that's like my son, right here. Yes. And it was rich, rich, rich. I may do it again, but it's, it's sharing things you wouldn't share with the public. It's, But it was so much, he's such a precious boy. And I remembered, Jesus went to his own, his own received him, not John 1, 11, 12. But un, those, as many as received him, to them he gave. To them he gave. Some people enjoy you, but they will never protect you. Some people enjoy you, Wisdom King, but they will never protect you. Who are they? Who are they? Be sensitive. Had a real important illustration I was going to tell and I t totally forgot it here but it was so important to me to share it with you just be careful navigate through evil slow everything down to the speed of accuracy confirm everything you're not a lawyer so don't try to be you're not a CPA so don't try to be yes. don't try to be slow everything down to the speed of accuracy I'm a very open man. I don't, I don't be very many open people, but I personally, as my temperament, I'm very open, very open, very direct. You will know what I feel. There are many people you don't know what they feel. They're sly. They're moving. It's okay. Anyone who doesn't see the Jesus in you don't want to see the Jesus in you. Wow. Clever, very clever. Be real sensitive, be real, real careful. Did I know this? I didn't know all this till the last three or four years. No, I didn't know this. No, I didn't know this. Did I know I'd have three embezzlements? No. Did I suspect it? No. No. 
And I'm sharing this with you for a reason. Well, God will protect me. Uh, he didn't protect Stephen from being stoned. He didn't protect Paul from being stoned. Uh, da, 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 don't, 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 don't misapply scripture here. One day I was walking in my house, the villa, and I was praising God for the beautiful home I have. Lord, thank you for this house. I can't believe I got a house. Wow. And the Lord said, now I want you to protect it. And I stopped. I, said, I don't think I heard you right. He said, I want you to protect it. Have you noticed God doesn't jog for you? Has God ever slapped uh has God ever slapped a birthday cake out of your mouth? No. He's gonna let you get as fat as you cotton picking want to. If you want to be the size of an elephant, God will watch you eat donuts all day long. God will let you be anything you want to be. And God will let you make mistakes. Oh, I don't think God will let me make mistakes. Have you ever made any? He let you make them, didn't he? That's the hardest thing for me to grasp about Numbers 23 19. God's not a man, he should lie. So, but the hardest thing for me to grasp is how can God watch me make a mistake and not slap me for it? But the whole Bible is a decision maker's handbook. It's about if you're willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Learn, Isaiah 117, learn to do well. I am under God's care. Thank you, Julia, for that heartburn helping me. And I pray for Norma Day. God will set her free from COVID. I'm glad you're taking the protected book that I wrote during my COVID overcoming. It's one of the best books I ever wrote. It's just scriptures, just scriptures called protected but you must apply the word of God. Yeah. Father, thank you for my 76th birthday month. It's here. It's here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For the birthday celebration coming up for two days. And every person who loves me enough to participate in my birthday, I praise you for it. I thank you for it. Amen. Pastor Anna, Amen. oh good, you put that book on there. It's book 809. It's free to anybody who's never received one. Five dollars each for any if you want to buy five or six or ten or something. It's called Protected. We'll show some other books there shortly. Pastor Anna, what's throbbing inside your spirit right now? Dr. Murdoch, I love how you protect us through this teaching. I love all of the one-liners that you gave us, how you give us those one-liners and protecting us, navigating through evil. This was very powerful, Dr. Murdoch, very powerful. Integrity produces self-confidence. Mm -hmm. When you're straight, Say the truth, tell the truth. I remember a lady one day sung at the Wisdom Center. Everybody came up to her and says, oh, you have a beautiful voice. Oh, and I stood there. And my thought, I said, no, she doesn't. That song was horrible. She's not, she don't have a good voice. Why are y'all telling her that? But everybody was bragging on her and I was standing there and I, uh, I just hate lying. Every inch of Mike Murdoch, six foot tall, 213 pounds. I hate lying. And I looked at her and everybody's bragging on her and she wasn't worth a dime. I'd never have her sing again. And I thought, what am I going to say? And I sat there and stood and looked at her and she looked at me for approval. I said, you love singing, don't you? Yes, I love singing. I said, I do too. I sing a whole lot. I 
I wasn't about to tell her she sung good because she didn't. You ever heard somebody sing when they got through saying, ah, ooh, 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 ah, ooh. You say, my God, how many devils are in this person? Ho, 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 hold it, hold it. I won't introduce my head to those sounds. I walked up to the little band one day at the Wisdom Center five years ago, six, seven years ago when I was preaching there. And I said, uh, y'all hadn't practiced, have you? Now, we well, don't play anymore till you practice. Don't come to the platform anymore till you practice. One in one key, one in another key, and one in another key. And we're all supposed to say, no, 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 no. If you're bad, you're bad. One of my young preachers preached at my conference. When he got through, I think it was 47 times or 130 times, something like that. He told about it later. He was mad about it. But he came and sat down. I said, you says this phrase 47 times. Why? Why? Don't come to the pulpit till you prepare. You have no right in the pulpit. Don't take all of our time up if you're not prepared. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Andrew Sass, Leon Prado, Zachary Shaw, Bricia, Bishop McIntyre, Lisette Schultz, Joseph O'Binge. Jacques, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. We'll show quickly a way you can sow seed to our ministry or life, and then I want to take you right into my 12 o'clock teaching. I want to take you right into our 12 o'clock teaching in just a moment. Pastor Anna, tell me the most powerful yes, thoughts that's occurred to you today. Dr. Murdoch, I can't wait for everybody to hear the 12 o'clock teaching. How powerful the testimony Whoever did not hear it, it's going to blow your mind. Beautiful testimony today on the Wealth Whispers. And Dr. Murdoch, we're celebrating you the entire month. Please allow us to sow personal seeds into your life. Thank you. This is a, such a special month. We celebrate your birthday, Dr. Murdoch, and can't wait for the conference coming up. Thrilled about that, too. I value that. Easter Sunday is Sunday, and Monday is my birthday, April the 18th. And I hope that you make plans to be with us. I wouldn't drive, you know, a thousand miles for that. We'll be showing it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and also the website. Praise God. Julia, the 12 o'clock teaching. Julia Kendrick, you have not heard some of the things that God began to put out in our spirit. Donda Anderson says, I appreciate your honesty. It gives one the opportunity to improve. I love that. And Julie, you're going to bring something for heartburn. I'm going to need it. I've tried. I've stopped several times, but I love the iced tea so badly. I go back to it, kind of like an alcoholic, I guess. But my heartburns are ferocious. They're really ferocious. Very destructive to my body. But I keep going back and say, well, let me try iced tea. Maybe I was just in a bad place. But uh, I want to be healthy. Really, really want to be healthy. Really want to be healthy. I want to beg every protege, please stay in character. Don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't hide stuff. Catches up with you. Don't lose favor with somebody that's worthy. Don't, don't play with favor. Don't casualize favor. Don't do that. Evangelist or are, I look for it. Say, I'm sowing my 112 seed today. Father, I decree and declare seven harvest from the Bible for my evangelist $112 seed. Every seed that's planted, I call in Mark 10. 28, 29, and 30. 
I called in the 112th Psalm where he said wealth and riches would be in our house. I called in three financial relationships. I called in Isaiah 58 where you said our health would spring forth speedily. There's a scripture you said you would even cause our enemies to be at peace. So we ask you to settle the contentious areas of our life. Settle them. There's a person watching me right now, Lord, that's that's trusted a bad person and they're sick at heart. They feel stupid, they feel idiotic, they feel angry. And they don't know what to say. They have tasted the sour, bitter taste of disrespect and dishonor. I ask you to show them that you're purging their world. Just like Lot had to be kicked out Abraham did it wisely. He says, pick out where you want to be in my world. You go north, I go south. But it was right after Lot left Abraham that you gave him the real estate contract. It was after Lot left Abraham that you gave Abraham the real estate contract. Because you don't like sharing your blessings with anybody in our life that's unworthy. In Jesus' name. There's seven harvest. I hope that your seed is always obedient seed. So swiftly when God speaks, when God whispers. Gozy Martins says, I love the quote, don't talk to anyone until they're ready to listen. Yeah, that wasn't mine. That was... Dima Shakarian of the Full Gospel Businessman. He would tell Richard Shakarian, they were very wealthy people, friends of mine. I spoke a lot for the Full Gospel Businessman. That's very strong. Don't talk to anyone until they're ready to listen. Don't talk to anyone who won't believe. There's two or three people I try inside I want so bad to develop a strong, worthy relationship with people in my, you know, my kin folks around my blood kin. And then I, then I say to myself, will they accept what you say? Do they know? Do they want to be in your presence? Obviously not. What do they want? Well, they want my money. Okay. That's not enough. It's not enough for somebody to want your money. There's nobody on the earth who won't take your money. No, wait. Do they want good to happen to you? If so, what's been their investment? There's a young man I'd paid thousands upon thousands to get his visa cleared from Africa. I liked him. He was quiet. He was nice. He was sweet. And one day I looked back while I was preaching at the Wisdom Center. He was on my staff. And I saw his countenance. I said, something's wrong. Something, he's changed. I said, what's his SS? That's my code for seed status. What's the seeds he's been planting? They were $10 a month. Wow. And he made a fortune off of me but he wouldn't give but $10 a month back to my ministry and my life. I said, tell me what's happened. He was meeting with two adversaries. One of the people he was meeting with every Saturday morning tried to, told me if I, if I let him, he was quitting unless I gave him 10,000 cash. Wow. I'm a technology person. He was quitting with all my codes, partner codes, all the things to my technology, unless I gave him 10,000 cash. Okay. Okay. Cindy Jones, isn't that the truth? She would never come back for anything. We prayed for her family today that they would see her value. Can't believe Laura Thurman's gone. But she's in heaven where we all want to be. Amen. Praise God. We're going to go directly into the 12 o'clock session today. And if you weren't there, 
You missed something. You missed something. Stay here while Miss Sonia takes us right in to the 12 o'clock video where me and Pastor Anna are talking. It's worth it. Started a miracle. I just planted a seed. I I just started a miracle. Something good's about to happen to me. I just started a miracle I just planted my seed I I just started a miracle Something good is going to happen to me Something good's gonna happen to me. I just started my miracle. I've got something to share with you today. Pretty interesting. I just planted my seed. I just started, I just started a miracle. Something good is about to happen to me. I love sitting at your feet. I love hearing every word you say. I love knowing all your desires. I'm so pleasure to obey Your favor's like a sunrise Driving all my nights away I love sitting at your feet Holy Spirit I love sitting at your feet Holy Spirit Every single day I love sitting at your feet Every single day Thy word is all that matters. Thy word is all that matters. Thy word is all that matters. Thy word, thy holy word, thy word is all that matters. Thy word is all that matters. Thy word is all that matters. Thy word, thy holy word, you are good to me. You're so good to me. The whole world can see. The whole world can see. And it's more, so much more than I can explain. Lord, you're good to me. You're so good to me. You're so good to me. The whole world can see. And it's more, so much more than I can explain. Mm. You will be happy 
at my house. I promise you will smile most every day. You will be happy, Holy Spirit, at my house. I promise things will always go your way. I promise things will always go your way. I promise things will always go your way. Glory to God. Brondo kotaraba. Bronde se leveke. Bosso kopala. Papa papa pa kasa kopreya thaye. E kotro bokoye. Thank you, Father. You're good. You're good to us. You're a good God. You're a loving God. You're a caring God. I think, let's see, the phone. There it is. I think Pastor Anna will be calling perhaps shortly. I just got off the phone. Very intriguing conversation. Stay with me. Pastor Anna, are you there? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday month, Dr. Murdoch. The celebration begins. Month, year 76. Praise God. Praise God. A lot of thoughts, Pastor Anna. A lot of thoughts. A lot of thoughts. And I'm so happy today to to be with the family and uh, going to be sharing a few little thoughts. There's some there's some sentences that really matter. One is, my mother taught me that whenever I wanted the will of God to be done, ask the Lord to block anything that was contrary to his will. Block it. Block it. And sometimes when God blocks some things we want, it's hard to take. It's hard to grasp a God because of Psalms 8411. He said, the desire of the righteous shall be granted. But if you come back and you pray that prayer, block anything that's not your perfect plan, your will. I'll share a couple of things. I'm going to wait till a few folks gather in here because I got something kind of interesting. Not kind of very interesting about today. Just got off the phone with a real well known great preacher of the gospel. We must have talked 25 minutes or so. And I want to share something that's kind of fascinating. Mm-hmm. Paul Wright, blessings on you. Brazil, Canada, Mexico, Uganda. <coughs> Shaza Perez, all the way from Louisiana, from Casa de Shaza. I love that title. Deborah Whitesell, Joy Kushner. Daniel, thank you for saying happy birthday month. Christopher, David Trujillo. I love that phrase. I want to remember that quote. David writes me the most unforgettable phrases. And he's so inspiring. He says, Dr. Murdoch, great, great experience you are. Unquote. Mabel says, great songs. Monty McMichael says, hi. Have a great Friday. It is Friday, isn't it? Baruch Vera from Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico. Wow. I'm so glad you are here. What I'm about to say is, Jamaica's joining us. Uganda, Mexico, Nigeria. I'm so glad you are here. Really glad you're here. Stacy. Baruch, I like that. April's going to be a good, good month. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like that. <laughs> Priscilla Epps. Yay. Lake City, South Carolina. I'm so glad when y'all write me notes like this. I really like looking on the screen here and seeing you communicate with me. John Lancer is ready to learn. Jim Mason's here. The Wisdom Midtown. 
Family Worship Center. Debbie Mingo. Well, I like that phrase there. If y'all hear some sounds, we have some people cleaning up all the attic, all the air conditioner vents and things like that. A mentor is someone consumed with your success. You got it. Prosper, Prosper Kojo, Mickey Oldman. These are wonderful, wonderful words. Prosper, I like that. Happy birthday, Daddy. Don't get much better than that, does it? <laughs> David Woodard, thank you so much for my wisdom Bible. I got it in the mail. Deborah Whitesell said, I love this lunch hour. Thank you. We might keep this t same time since you said that. Yay. 12 to 1. Robert Walden's here. Vernon Carver's here. Grace Paul is here. Shall I plunge in and tell you something kind of remarkable? Maybe okay. I should. As you know, I'm selling my properties. Thank you, good. Can you hear me, Pastor Anna? Yes, sir. Oh, good, okay. One of the things, let me say, about life, I call this 76 years of wisdom today because this is my 76th birthday. I'm fixing to send out everybody a letter this afternoon about it give you pictures of my family. My wife, my new wife from October the 15th, Christina. I've been single 42 years. That's probably long enough. <laughs> but uh, I've got an interesting story to tell you about today. Just a moment. So stay close. I wouldn't go anywhere. What are things that stand out to me about 76 years? One is your greatest battle will be over the infallibility of the scriptures and staying confident that the Bible is so because there's an appearance of contradictions in the Bible. Stay there. Number two is keep a rhythm and a routine of reading the Bible every day so no matter what your mood is, your mind is still being cleansed by divine words. I started preaching when I was eight publicly on Waco, Texas for my father on a Sunday night. Preached an hour and five minutes. Then I went and traveled with him when he had a tent and went from city to city, 10 years old. We went to Franklin, Louisiana, and the, my father led the Duplantis family to the Lord. Out of that family came Jesse Duplantis. My dad led them all the, to the Lord when I was nine and 10 years old, Franklin, Louisiana. When I was 15, I preached my first crusade. There's little debate whether it was Howard Holton's church or Mabel Fuller's church in Buckholz, Texas. We have someone who was there in that church in Buckholz when I was 15. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? Wow. They were there. Mm -hmm. Been around a while. Been around a while. Zachary Shaw, Jerry Jones, Jacques Myberg, Prosper, Pastor Ken Lorry, Miss Marty Martinez, so glad that you're here with me today, really am. I was born and raised in a preacher's home. My father prayed four to 10 hours a day. That was his main anointing. He built seven churches. Yes, I've been on the top of churches hammering nails more than one time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to learn. No one is ever as they first appear. People are having feelings that you cannot feel. There's a reason for moods. 
and they're usually hidden and unknown. People never tell you everything that's happening in their life. People hide things from you deliberately, purposely, for reasons known only to them. Now that we're here together, it's good to see Miss Viviana, our attorney here. I want to pray for her now. Father, continue to give her complete healing from her head to her feet. Let her family see her value more than ever. Let there be a new intimacy and a new closeness at a scale they've never known before. I ask you, Father, to give her complete healing. Give the wisdom that the doctors need for her scenario. I pray for Renee Poole today here at Prayer World. Father, one of the sweetest, most loving people I've ever known in my life, I ask you to let her daughter have complete restoration healing. Complete restoration healing. Father, we first thank you also today for Laura Thurman, who's been with me over 35, 34 years in the ministry. She's walked beside me as a partner, one of the most generous people, loving people, most real people we could ever meet. And a few days ago when I prayed with her, I asked you that if you preferred bringing her home to heaven, let her go without any sorrow, any pain, but let her peace be great and to give her a great, great inner peace. And you took her home within hours. I thank you for her life. Thank you for her influence on the ministry. Lord, she sat day after day in my library, my private library with me and the staff. She sat there every morning and drove over to my house and sat there. Her realness was irreplaceable, incomparable. We thank you for her. We ask you to use her life, use her life in memories for her family that all of them would serve you. In Jesus' name. Yes. So be it. So be it. Father, I pray for Pastor John. Felt led, Lord, to pray for several new partners for his ministry. Rally them around him. Rally them around him. They're in Canada, in Jesus' name. Mariana Martinez, the wife of Pastor David Martinez. We love her. We adore her. She's Brazilian, speaks Portuguese, and she has been a phenomenal inspiration to the services at the Wisdom Center. I think she can play every instrument that's ever been created since time. Yeah. A piano bass guitar, a guitar, lead guitar, rhythm guitar. We love you, Mariana. Thank you for being here today. Zachary said he read seven obstacles to abundant success earlier. I used to preach that everywhere I went, Zachary. Edward Tanisha. Edward Tanisha is such an intercessor. I remember her praying, mm -hmm. Lord, and son, I love your gift-giving anointing like few people have. So glad you're here today. Kareen Daniels Maui is here, our dance preacher, the dance ministry. Cato Anderson from Norway is here. What I'm about to share this morning is, or today is 1220 now, it's Joseph Wesley, one of my seed sowers. He holds up my hand like Aaron and Earth. Blessings and favor. Dr. May, I'm so thrilled you're training the teenagers in the ministry. Dr. May, your, your seeds yesterday talk loud for you. One of the most givenest women I've ever seen in our ministry is yes. Dr. May. 
can say many things. Yes. Gozy Martins. Priscilla Epps says, I'm sending tithe and offerings to you, Dr. Mike, for $130. Father, I sanctify Priscilla's incredible tithe and seed today as holy as righteous. And Lord, the illustration I'm about to give to her, let her realize in less than 42 days, in less than 42 days, she will see a surprise harvest to the tithe and seed. Lord, today's April the 1st, Friday, first day of this birthday month. And I receive her tithe and seed as the beginning of 42 days. Lord, I don't know why that's so big to me, why it's so real to me, but in 42 days, in 42 days from today, in 42 days, that's by May the 12th, there will be shocking harvest, shocking harvest as you perform your word. You're going to give somebody the greatest testimony of their life. You're going to give somebody the greatest testimony of their life. Tina, I'm so glad you got your prayer Bible today. Yay. We're running a little bit behind. We've had some, some orders, and we're so sorry we're running behind. Carolyn Carson thanked me. Happy 76th birthday. Janet Holton remembered to tell me, happy birthday all month. Yay. Yes. Mary Van. Nadine Coleman, can't wait to see you just a few days away. April 17th and 18th, Easter Sunday and Monday. Two Yay. days, I'm going to feed all of you the best food you ever had in your life. We're going to yeah. get to spend two days face to face at the Wisdom Center. If you hadn't registered and you should, please do. It helps us in our ordering the food. 888. 223-2663 or the book number 817-759-BOOK, which is 2665. I want to walk you through something. Several years ago, I wanted to sell my house. I woke up one morning and looked out in at the villa. I'd been there since I was 36 years old. I wanted to experience, but just felt like it was too much for me to take care of. Seven acres. Seven acres. Five apartments. 3,000 foot library. Had everything you could want. Tennis court. Jacuzzi. Swimming pool. A walk one third of a mile, three times around was one mile around the property. It's the end of a road. Only six or seven of us on that road. Very private. Very private. My walls are up to 16 feet high. 13 to 16, 17 feet high around the property. Took me a year to build a wall around the property. 24 hours a day practically. Yeah. Everybody was so shocked. The doctor of the Dallas Cowboys lived on the other side of my wall. When I started building the wall, he came over and said, Brother Mike, please don't build that wall. He said, we won't look. I'll cut shut all my windows. He had a big, tall, he was the doctor, still there, for the Dallas Cowboy football team. Wow. I bought the house next door in front of me for my father, my sister has a creek beside it. I wanted the house as soon as I saw it. I was 36. As soon as the, we were on our way to drive to another, this is about the guidance of the Lord. Stay with me. You have never heard a story like this, I don't think. And we was on our way, I'd already, I just on my way to sign the papers. The house I was on my way to was a prettier, more contemporary house but I told him what I love Spanish architect. I said, I love flat houses. I really like flat houses, flat roofed houses. He said, well, you may be, you may want to see one over here. 
The guy was a Hollywood movie producer, and he lived there. Some years ago, Paul and Jen Crouch spent the entire day, eight hours there in my home. They said this is the most perfect home. They was considering buying it years ago. But October the 15th, I moved into this house with my new bride, Miss Christina, from Brazil. She was an attorney from Brazil. And we had dated off and on, not off really, 10 years. She would come here, I would go there to Brazil. But I felt like I needed to sell the house. I had a friend come and say, I'll give you cash for it right now. I'll buy this, I'll buy that, and I said, okay. Some things didn't work out. Some things didn't come together. And I finally had to tell them, I said, I don't think. And I told them this, Pastor Anna, just a few days ago, as you know. Yes. And I told them, I just don't feel like it's God's will. They had cash in their hand, trying to put it in the bank for me. I said, oh, I don't think it's God's plan for you to have my house. I just don't think it's right. They wanted to buy it cash, it's everybody else. Several people came to look at the house. But this morning when I got up praying in the spirit, I want to say this. The most common mistake with Pentecostal people is they underplay the prayer language. Please don't do it. Fred Price used to tell us, pray at least one hour every morning in, in the spirit. In the spirit, not your regular language, in the spirit. So this morning as I was praying, Christina came in and uh, I said, baby, I want y'all to listen to the story. It's, it's a once in a lifetime story. Mm -hmm. Because I looked across my yard and thought, should I have a ministry school here? Should I bring young preachers here? What should I do? Because the, the home is so, it's, it's a perfect home. It's a perfect core. It's, it's everything a person could want. Except I was, couldn't take care of it too much. I spent a lot of money taking care of it. I'd been gone most of my years there. I'd been gone till my son at 12 came to live there. And then I shut down a lot of traveling so I could love on him, train him, and teach him from 12 to 17. As I was praying in the Spirit this morning, Christina came in the room. I said, baby, I said, these people that Pastor David is meeting with and the realtor this morning at 9 o'clock, I said, uh, they're not normal. Mm. I said, as I pray in the Spirit, they're not normal. There's something very different about these people. I don't know who they are. I was even tempted to make the 40-minute drive there. I said, they're not normal. And I says, they may have some situations, but God spoke to me to work with them, to try to work mm -hmm. with them if I could, because they're wow. exceptional people. And she looked back at me. She said, I felt the same thing, baby. I felt mm -hmm. the same thing. These people are not normal. I said, no, they're not. I said, baby, come across the room. And the Bible says two are better than one. That's why this prayer world is very powerful to me. You'll get miracles you would never got your whole life 
There's something about setting aside 12 o'clock noon every day. We're going to pray together. We're going to seek God together. We're going to call on God together. We're going to intercede together. We're going to covenant together. This is not just a normal thing, what we do here at 12 o'clock noon. It's, this is not just normal. We don't throw this together. This is something we plan every day. Let's be together to pray. And uh, she walked over and she, I said, baby, take my hand. The Bible says two are better than one. Free folk cores and our leaves are broken. Now you felt it. I felt it. I've been feeling it for several hours, but let's pray. So we pray. I said, Father, I don't know who these people are. They're meeting at 9 o'clock this morning. They're meeting at 9 o'clock. I don't know who they are, but I feel they're very unusual people, Lord. They're, they're not normal people, these people. And I'm supposed to cooperate with them financially. I'm supposed to help them in some way if I can. I don't know who they are. And they may have some financial struggles. They may. But I'm supposed to work with them. Here's the fact. We prayed in the Spirit, prayed together. Had no idea. Not the faintest idea. Not the faintest idea who it was. Going to look at my home, 40 minutes from me here, that I lived in from 36 years old on up. Mar Cirillo's been there. Some of the greatest preachers in the world. Steve Muncy, Rob Thompson. So many preachers have been there and prayed with me. Have Some preachers have fallen flat on my prayer room floor, my secret place, fell flat in my presence. Steve Muncy told me he had never felt God's presence in his lifetime of ministry. He runs 18,000 in his church. He said, I've never felt God's presence this strong in my lifetime, ever. Everybody that comes on my property and says, there's such peace here. Such peace, what is this? Everybody, 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 everybody. When we got through praying today, I told her, I says, I could be wrong. I could always be wrong, but I, something's very special about these people. About an hour and 15 minutes, I sent a message to Brother David Martinez, my assistant, and I says, uh, Are they still there? Those people still there? And suddenly the phone rang. He said, Dr. Murdoch says, this man here is a preacher. Mm. And he says he knows you. Mm. He told me, I said, well, yeah, son. He's as well mm. known as Kenneth Copeland around the wow. world. Mm. Oh, yeah, he... He had a plan before I did. Wow. I said, well, yeah. It's him? Mm. Yeah, he and his assistant and wife. And I said, they're on my property right now. My yes, God. and they did not know this was your uh, till yesterday when they came up wow. to play over the property. Wow. And uh, his assistant says, do you know whose whose land this is? Whose home this is? No. Mm -hmm. Says Mike Murdoch. Mm -hmm. And my friend was shocked. He says, "No way. Mm -hmm. No way." My God. My friend is a very, very, very well-known preacher in the world. Wow. He's older than me. A lot older. Three years older than me. He's seventy-nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He said, he wants to talk to you. I said, why, yes. Mm. And he got on the phone and we, we bubbled like a fountain for 30, 25 minutes together. He wow. began to share with me his revelations. I said, I'm not believing this. Wow. I'm not believing this. He says, Brother Mike, I own a thousand acres, another place, another city. Oh, this over here. But he says, I've got to leave something before. 
I got to do something before I leave for heaven. I said, I sure know those feelings. He said, I got to do something. He said, I've got 200 young preachers under me. Wow. 200 young sons in the Lord. And I need a place for them to meet. <laughs> he says, I can't believe what I feel on this property. I says, he's all over the property. I wrote 835 songs on that property. That's where I fell in love with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit came in my bedroom. Seven o'clock on a Wednesday morning, July the 13th, 1994. He said, I've never felt it. I said, he's all over that property. I says, I thought about training young preachers there at one time. He said, I got to fly out right now to Mexico, but I'm coming back. Let me pray for you. I, he said, Clarence McClendon is one of my close friends. I said, I was with Clarence a few years ago. We had service and lunch together. Clarence is a great teacher in Los Angeles. Me and him worked with Benny Hansa. He says, He said, this place, I said, it has everything a man could want in 76 years. There's nothing there I didn't put there. You walk inside the front door, a few feet to the left, there's these beautiful long fish, this long, right in the middle. There's a fish pond right in the middle of my house. I said, it's got everything a man could want. Everything I ever saw anywhere in the world including the big, tall waterfall from Hilton Hotel. I put it there outside the door, huge. I said, everything I ever saw in the world, the only thing I didn't put up was a, was a pyramid in the backyard, which I started to do after I went to Cairo. Wow. I said, I've never seen anything in a house in my life I didn't put in my home. He was said, this is something else. I said, one walk around it, it's one third of a mile. You walk three times, I said, I got a walkway around the entire property, right close to the creek, right here. It's one third, three times around is one mile exactly. The walls, you can't find walls like that except at a palace. He starts telling me, he said, we've been looking for a home to train preachers. My God. I said, did you see my library? 13,000 books, he said, my word. Yes. I said, did you know I've written 2,800? He couldn't believe. I said, yeah. I said, I just... I'm saying, how old are you? He said, 79 now. He's available. If I called his name, almost everybody here would have heard of this man. Everybody. Wow. Bill and, uh, Bill and Valerie just wrote me. They've been in my home. They wrote, I need this today. Spectacular home. Nothing like your villa. Thank you for that, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. Mark Mays, Lisa, J.B. Wilcox, Christopher, Akila Ra. Thank you all for being here with me. This is big, Georgia. Are you ready for this? Yes. I says, well, I says, if it's something you can work out, he said, I want my partners to see this. Hmm. Now, stay with me all the way here. Family, you've never heard of anything like going on right now. All I knew is that somebody visited in there today. Somebody was on my property. I prayed four hours every morning 
in the secret place. There's somebody where I fell in love with the Holy Spirit. Somebody was not normal that was on my property. Somebody not normal. And I was supposed to work with him if I could. I said, there's only about six people on that road. It's the most private place on earth. People are so precious around the neighborhood. Good people. I said, if you want the house, I'll give you all my furniture in it. I got the best furniture on earth. I'll give you everything there. Those pianos, when you walked in the door, those pianos there, that's wow. where I wrote I am blessed. Jesus, mm -hmm. just the mention of your name on that, that piano. Wow. I says, all the furniture there, if you see furniture, I'll give it to you as a gift. Wow. Wow. I couldn't, I kept crying, breaking down crying. Are you ready for this? He said, I've got to, I've got to, he said, I got to come see you. I got to be with you. I got to be with you. We got to have time together. He said, let's just pray. Then he prayed. Then, are you ready for this? Just before he hung up, he said, I'll be back next week. Let me see what God's will is, what the partners can do. He said, did you know I, I live a half a mile up the road from you? Ah. I said, you can't tell me that. See, I live by the country club. He lives by the country club. Oh, my God. He lives by the country club. He said, I live. My, he says, I said, I've been there since I was 36. Wow. 36, 40 years ago, I moved in that house and started building. Build it, build it. Wow. I said, you can't. That can't be true. He said, my jet's at the Alliance Airport. Mm. Ross Perot, the billionaire's airport. I said, that's where I kept my three jets. Wow. That's where Kenneth Copeland picked me up a few weeks ago and had his two pilots at 11 o'clock at night fly me to Houston for my brain surgery thing. Mm. Kenneth Copeland may be sitting in his, his seat in his jet. He wouldn't let me sit in the back. He said, you're the only person besides Kenneth Copeland that's ever sat in this plane. Mm. And remember that? Yes, sir. He said, that's where my jet is now to take me to Mexico. I said, that's where I kept my three jets. Mm. And then he started talking. He said, we've got to leave something for this next generation. I said, yes, we do. He began to give me his revelations. He said, I'm tired of churchy, churchy, churchy. He said, I love the kingdom. He said, I love the kingdom. Then he started telling me about a dream in the Bible. I said, I never heard that that." Those words in my life. Kopala Kopaya. Prokosaya Drabokoya. Eliana. Is that my Eliana who helps me with my interpreting? My my translations? Really? In Florida? She's special. She's special. Eliana, is that you? I think that's you. Grace from Zambia is here. Leanne smiles. Stacy, Lisa Bernice. Norway, Uganda, UK is here. Zambia, Australia, Brazil, Cameroon, Canada, Congo, Ghana, Hawaii, India, Jamaica, Mexico, Nigeria. Christina. By this time, 11, 11.30 today. 
By this time, she was on an appointment, and I buzzed her. And I says, baby, the people that want to buy my house is a famous preacher of the gospel I've known for 50 years. My God. One of the best God. preachers of faith in the world. Wow. And he wants to have a school for preachers under him. Wow. He lives a half a mile away. Mm. Wow. And I started crying. Mm. Elijah doesn't mind leaving when Elisha is waving at the chariot. Elisha, Elijah doesn't mind leaving if Elisha's waving at the chariot. Yes. Yes. I just turned down a cash offer for the church, someone that I loved, someone I valued, uh, for, for offer for the uh, for the villa. And says, I've, let me put the cash in your... I said, I just don't feel... I got to pray in the Holy Ghost. Family, this praying in the Holy Ghost is serious. Brondero kosala. Papa poco se le pico sheke. Papa poco priandro boko satara boko. Brondero de boko priandra kose te le kata varo kose. Bandara de la boko si tatara bashoko priandra vakatara bakaya. Brando kosala la vacata la bacaye trocoye e colaba. Brando kosata la bacaye. Vasho copapo coye. Cabareasa. There is an anointing, there is a grace. God spoke to me two or three things to share with you before I go. One is for you to pray a prayer I prayed many years ago when I said to the Holy Spirit, would you talk to me through money? Would you talk to me through money? Would you talk to me through money. Would you talk to me through money? Would you talk to me through money? I want you to pray that prayer everywhere you are right now. At 10 minutes to one, repeat this prayer with me. I'm going to lead you in a couple of prayers. Repeat this prayer with me. Precious Holy Spirit. Precious Holy Spirit. Everything I have came from you. Everything I have came from you. You are my source. You are my source. Of all pleasure. Of all pleasure. All prosperity. All prosperity. All prosperity. All prosperity. You are my source. You are my source. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Mike Murdoch asks you. Mike Murdoch asks you. To talk to him. To talk through to money. Through money. Please do that with me. Please do that with me. I will be a testimony for you. I will be a testimony. I will be a voice for you. I will be a voice. And for I will you. tell everybody in the world. And I will tell everybody that I do business with you. That I do business with you. Thank you for a debt free home. Thank you for a debt free home. Thank you for favor. 
Thank you for thank you for an anointing on my life. Thank you for an anointing. Everything I have is yours. Everything. I Everything have I have is yours. Everything I have is in yours. Jesus' name. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Kupaba kushaya tokoye. Koraboye. Joseph from Ghana, Accra. You couldn't say it better. I am completely, totally dependent on the Holy Spirit. It seems risky, but it's not. It seems risky, but it's not. God told me to tell you to pray that prayer. As far as I know, I'm the only person I've ever known to pray that prayer. But I prayed it and asked the Lord to reveal himself, to talk to me through money. Now, I didn't know that meant he was going to ask me for my money. I thought he was yes. going to, but he responds to my money. Yes. He responds wow. to my money. Wow. Wow. Ragiv Dosio, New Jersey. Zachary Shaw. Zachary, I'm in a state of shock today. See in the hand of God so much. Deborah, thank you. My sister Flo Warner is here today. Haven't seen Flo in a while. She says, I'm so excited for you, brother. God's here. God's here. I want to tell you quickly, quickly, When I was 21, Charles Greenaway, I was on the fourth row, 800 of us Assemblies of God preachers, and he got up and told us to make a faith promise for 12 months. 12 months. I never heard of a faith promise like that. My father had people give him $3. I think it was $3 a month for his ministry. But I had not known about faith promises per se. And I ripped in my hand, stood to my feet. All the other preachers were given $200,000, $150,000 from their big churches. I was 21, June 1967 or so. And I says, if God provides me, I'll give $100 in one year. And I was scared. That was Wednesday night. And Thursday morning, I was scared all the way. The rest of you have heard my testimony. A man came from Houston, stood up on our platform on Sunday morning, and said, God just told me to give Mike a $100 bill. I told you what happened. I told you about the couple that bought me the Airstream Travel. I told you my. I gave away every penny I had three times in my life. Emptied my savings account of everything. Everything. I went to preach for Rod Parsley on a Sunday night. I had $8,500 royalty money that had just come in a few days before. And I was elated. I thought God was paying me back. And God told me to give the whole $8,000. $500 to him and his wife, Joni. Fourteen days later on a Tuesday morning, I was waiting for Dusty Kemp, pastor of the Bread of Life Church in Houston, to come pick me up. I was speaking to 40 or 50 pastors. And God gave me an idea. I grabbed a pen and wrote it down. 7.15. And the idea was loved by Walmart, Kmart and Hallmark. Mm. And they wanted the idea in their store. And they began to give me beautiful checks every 90 days. My 8,500 
bought an idea from God. Wow. Nobody's going to believe me. Don't care. Wow. The Holy Spirit stopped me in the conference one day when I said, you can't buy a miracle with money. And the Holy Spirit says, who told you that? And I stopped and said, everybody bow your head. He said, everything is bought on the earth. Everything. I said, what? What? Only the price is different. That's all. Naaman had to buy his leprosy deliverance by dipping in Jordan seven times. The blind man had to wash the dirt and the clay that Jesus spit on his face. He had to walk two miles and wash it off. Everything is bought. Calvary was a purchase for our souls, our love. The cross was a purchase. 1 Kings 17. Elijah goes to the widow. He says, I need your last meal. She says, it's my last one. He said, now I want to tell you the harvest that's on the other side of it. I had $25,000 I saved up. Took me a long time to save $25,000 because I'm not a saver at all. Giver? Yeah. Saver? No. No. I'm having lunch with Oral Roberts, with Mike Hayes. And God says, give him the 25000 I said, that's all I have in my saving. God says, give him the 25000 And people begin to buy me Seventy, eighty, and hundred thousand dollar cards within weeks. Wow. I save up fifty thousand. I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. Fifty thousand dollars. And the Holy Spirit says, give it to a preacher. Wire it to him in Nigeria. Father, he's a real wealthy preacher. He has over 80,000 in his church. God says, give him every penny in your savings account. It paralyzed me for 30 days. I couldn't talk. For 30 days, I couldn't talk. For 30 days, I couldn't talk. Finally, I realized, huh, Everything I have came from God. Everything. My eyesight came from God. My hearing came from God. My ability to play the piano came from God. My songwriting came from God. I don't have anything God didn't give me. Maybe he's testing me, okay. But Lord, I've already given you everything. Two times I've already given you everything I have. Everything. 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 The most I'd ever had in a savings account in my lifetime was $364,000. Mm. And I gave it all. Now this was the third time. The third time. At the end of 30 days, I went to my secretary, financial, and said, empty that account, 50000 and write it and wire it. 50,000. Wow. Scared? Very. But I knew his voice. What was the most valuable message, advice my father ever gave me in my life? Just know the voice of the Spirit. Just know yes. the voice of the Spirit. Jackie Holland, I love that phrase. Every good and perfect gift is from God. Yes. Two weeks later, a man writes me and says, I watched you on TV. I became a millionaire. God blessed me. And I sold a $1,000 seed like you told us to. He said, today I'm a multi-millionaire, blank, blank, blank. Here's my tithe. God told me to send you tithe. 14 days. 14 days after I emptied the 50,000. 
and the check was for 250000 Fourteen days later, there was a second check for 247000 And he says, I became all this. I, I did what you said about sowing a $1,000 seed, sowing a $1,000 seed, sowing a $1,000 seed. Today he sends a thousand dollar seed. He sows a thousand dollar seed every single week to our ministry. Wow. Because it changed his world. My God. Changed his world. Mm. Today is April the first. I must sow a thousand dollar seed today. I must. I must. I must. In celebration of the revelation, do business with God. Wow. This is April the 1st today. It's 1 o'clock. I've been sharing for one hour. One hour. One hour. Doesn't have to be my ministry can be wherever you want to, wherever God speaks to you. But the thousand dollar seed on April the 1st, it don't get more powerful than that. It doesn't mm. get more powerful than that. Father, mm. this day will not end without a thousand dollar seed. I thank you for every good thing that you've done. As I sow this thousand dollar seed today to the Wisdom Center ministry. I sow it knowing that it pays for one million people to hear the gospel. My TV time. A thousand dollars is the cost of one million people hearing. One million people hearing the gospel. I ask you for 76 people during the month of April to sow a thousand dollar seed to help me on the television ministry. Your sheep know your voice. When I open my hands, you open your windows. Amen. Amen. Pastor Anna. Yes, Dr. Murdoch. Bursting inside me. Talk to us while we show the screen and the ways people can sow. Dr. Murdoch, what a way to start Ooh. your birthday month with a wealth whisper. What an encounter. The leading of the Holy Spirit is so powerful in your life. And Dr. Murdoch, I really believe what you share about good soil. And to me, you are the best soil on earth. Not a project, but you. You as a person. And Dr. Murdoch, I really feel in my heart, like Psalms 23, it's coming alive. Even as you share this powerful story. The leading of the Holy Spirit. And Dr. Murdoch, I would like to invite 23. 23 based on Psalms 23 to sow a thousand dollars personally to you. This would be a seat of honor to you. I believe that this month, Dr. Murdoch, is very, very important for us to encounter the Holy Spirit in wealth whispers. And I really felt that strong as you were sharing that Psalms 23 is coming alive. You are a testimony of how God can lead us to the best to the best of the best. I've seen you walk away from money in a way that I've never seen anybody else. Nobody knows how many times you walked away from cash offers and you would say yes to God before anything else. And now to see this Dr. Murdoch, it's, I am, I'm speechless. But I would like 23 to sow that seed personally to you, Dr. Murdoch, and I will be one between now till the end of the month to sow a thousand dollars personally to you as a seat of honor. Not only a birthday gift, Dr. Murdoch, but the start of a harvest for us 
in wealth whispers, in the leading of the Holy Spirit, blocking anything that is not from Him, and opening doors only led by His will. Prosekopala. Puki kandrose taraba. Buse kalapapokose. Shukufa briandrabokosa tarabuye. Father, I don't know who those 23 are. I was not expecting that, but she hears from you. Our Pastor Anna hears your voice. She hears your voice. I work with that covenant. I work with that covenant. I accept that covenant. I accept that covenant. I accept this covenant. And everything you've ever done for me, do for these 23. Pastor Anna, make a note, birthday 23. There's a reason for that. Yes. Birthday 23. Make a note of that. Zachary Shaw. Zachary, you have the same grace on you that I have on me. Zachary just told me, he says, many tears. I will faith promise a thousand dollar seed as God provides. It is already, it was already in my heart. Jacques says, I will be one of the 23. This is not common, it's not normal, and it's from God. It's from God. Somebody, Father, raise up 23 financial Elishas under my mantle, the grace that you put on my life. I ask you for 23. Lord, there's people watching me right now don't realize it's one seed. One seed schedules a harvest. One seed schedules your favor. One seed schedules your favor. One seed. It's the seed of obedience. It's the seed of obedience. Christy Pando said last month she planted a seed, two seeds. She got two kind of raises, and today she got offered a job, double her present salary. I want to say that again. Christy Pando, P-A-N-D-O. Last month she planted two seeds. She got two raises. And today she got a job, double her present pay. Mary Bullard, Mary, I believe I know you. Mary's been one of my strongest pillars in the Wisdom Center. She said, I will be one of the 23. Apostle Sonia had called this morning. I sent it out at Twitter. She called this month. April is the month of overflow. 20, mm -hmm. Psalms 23, verse 5 is the key verse for the month. Janet Holton just said, Janet, you're not wrong. You're not making a mistake, Janet. You're not making a mistake. Janet Holton says, I will sow the 1,002. Janet, you're not making a mistake. You're not making a mistake. Miss Marty Martinez, Miss Marty Martinez, I'm supposed to have supper with you and Robert tonight. Okay, God gave me that this morning. I'm supposed to have supper at a restaurant here tonight with you and Robert. I felt so stirred. I hadn't, ta I hadn't told a soul. I hadn't told Christine. I hadn't told anybody. Miss Marty Martinez says I will be one of the 23. The anointing you respect is the anointing that comes upon your life. If you'll be consistent with your obedience. This 23 is very serious, folks. It's as serious as this Bible. It's as serious as the Word of God. It's as serious as the crucifixion. When Pastor Anna started speaking it, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it first. I didn't feel it when she started speaking it. And as she continued, I began to see something. 
I saw it in the spirit then. I saw what she was seeing. Psalms 23, it's the overflow month. April's the month of the overflow. April is the month of the overflow. April is the month of the overflow. Praying this morning, the Spirit. I never have even told anybody, Miss Marty. I've never even told anybody. But I was supposed to have supper with you and Robert, your husband. Father, show your power off. Show your harvest off. Show your answer off. Father, there is nothing you will withhold from a trustworthy servant of you. Nothing. Every one of these 23 could not be more in the center of your will. Every one of these 23 could not be more in the center of your will. Father, I remember when you spoke to me and told me things to sow, and I just couldn't believe it. I just could not believe it. But you were testing my, my obedience. You were testing my, my trust in you. You were testing my trust in you. Some months ago, as I was coming down my stairway at the villa, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about four or five steps in and says, let me do this my way. Let me do it my way. He spoke to me and said that. Let me do it my way. And I share with the team when I got to the bottom of the stairs, I said, the Holy Spirit just told me, let him do it his way. Whatever that means. Let him do it his way. Let him do it his way. Let him do it his way. Julie, you always obey God, Julie. Did you see that? Julie just told me, I have 1,000 with your name on it. Family, as much as I believe my name is Mike Murdoch and as much as I believe this Bible, I believe the 23 for the 1,000 has a supernatural place. I, it's birthday 23. Christy, from my heart, I thank you. Mariana, you're wise. Mariana, your husband is a rare, rare gift from the Lord. And yesterday, God put in my heart that he's like a son to me. Tina, Tina moves fast. She always has. Julie, Karen, Renee, you got all these names down? These are very special people. If you can write their names down, if you can write their names down, this is, this is too powerful. This is extremely more powerful than I could say with words, family. This is more powerful than I could say with words. This is more powerful than I could say with words. Father, Pastor Anna today spoke as you talked to her. You didn't tell me that. You told her that. And after she began to speak it, you saw, I saw in the spirit how most perfect she was in her hearing your voice. Everything you've ever done for me, do for these 23. These are very different 23. Very different 23. They're not normal. They're not normal. Family, it's almost scary to me. It's almost scary to be this close to the Holy Spirit and Him talk this bold, this strong. This is, this is almost scary to me. Dr. May. You will see it. Family, document this seed today. April the 1st. April the 1st, 22 2. Dock this, document this seed today. A thousand dollar seed. Thank you, Nadine. Thank you. There's 23. There's 23. 
during the month of April, Georgia, my, 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 Georgia Thomas just said, I will be one of the 23. I say this, God being my witness, this is a test seed from heaven on your life. This is a test seed from heaven. This is a test seed from heaven. This is a test seed from heaven on your life. 116. 116, I said this. April the 1st. 76 years of obedience. You will never be broke again the rest of your life. The 23, obeying God. And you sow where God tells you to. Just sow where God tells you. Just obey Him, that's all. Just obey Him. Brother Christopher, you know what he just wrote me? Quote, I saw increase as I prayed for you yesterday. Dr. Murdoch, you had some needs to meet. They will be exceeded. Unquote. Brother Christopher, you hear from God. That's all I would say. You will hear from God. You hear from God. Joy K, Joy Kushner, I will sow 1,000 as God provides. That's all. Just as God provides. If God doesn't provide it, you can. But there's 23. I'm anxious to see the names. Birthday 23. I'd like to put a, a plaque somewhere. Dr. Diana Hudgens Brown just said, I will be one of the 23. Dr. Brown, of all the seeds you've planted in your life, this seed will trigger, will trigger three or four rivers of favor at a level you've never known in your chiropractic business. Two or three rivers of favor at a level of all the seeds you planted. I don't think there's a more powerful seed than this one today. Mm. Yes. Anything, anything you ask I will do. Caligas, get ready, get ready. Mm. Tina, you've got buried gifts about to flourish. Anything you say, anything you ask, in your name I will do anything, anything I will do. Pastor Anna? Doc, Dr. Murdoch? Yes. I have a picture in my heart, and I submit it to you, Dr. Murdoch, but I feel that as you either quote Psalms 23 or sing Psalms 23, the 23 are right here, and God is not only building, not only providing a seed to sow, but also building a persuasion. As you quote, as you speak Psalm 23, Dr. Murdoch, the 23 are here and they're coming forth and they're, you're building a persuasion. When you speak the word, when you say it, Dr. Murdoch, God is building a persuasion. Your DNA is flowing through your voice, flowing through your words. And he's building a persuasion inside of us. An eruption is happening in the spirit. An eruption is happening in the spirit. And the 23 will experience it, Dr. Murdoch. Oh, this is, this is so tender to me. This is so tender. You have no idea what's happening. It's almost scary, scary, scary. But it's the way God moves. The Lord. 
is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, my mind. Soul means mind. He restoreth my soul. Your broken heart, your wounded mind. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. I want to send a bottle of anointing oil from my post office box here by my house to every one of the 23. A bottle of anointing oil. And there's a purpose. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The earth is the Lord's. 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 Lord's. Everything is the Lord's. Pastor Anna, this preacher watched me on TV last week raise some support for another well-known ministry. This preacher that was standing on my property, the villa, today, wanting to turn my house of 40 years into a school for preachers under him. And this is what he told me today. Last week I saw you helping another ministry and I told my wife, do we have any more thousand dollar seeds left? Wow, 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 wow. Mike, Mike is giving his testimony on TV. Do we have any thousand dollar seeds left? Apostle Sonia, I was hoping. Apostle Sonia, I was hoping. Apostle Sonia, I was hoping. I was hoping. Dr. Brown and Apostle Sonia, like an Aaron and her, holding up my hands. Lavetta Williams. Lavetta Williams. There will be honor. I, I, I leave nobody without honor. That's the first quality of God in our lives. Leanne. Leanne. I don't know what this means, but there's a chunk of money. There's a chunk of money that hasn't got to you yet. 
that's due you. I don't know if it's a will. I don't know if it's a, I have no idea, but there's a chunk of money, Leanne. There's a chunk of money. I just saw it. Just saw it. Just saw it in the spirit that has not yet been released to you. This thousand dollars obedience seed. Deborah Demby. We talked about Deborah, was it two nights ago? Deborah, we prayed for you. Deborah Demby. Y'all don't know what this is affecting me. Deeply, deeply. Felicia Young. One of the people who helped me build the Wisdom Center. Felicia just wrote me. I am one of the 23. Did you know, Pastor Anna, when you started talking, I didn't see any of it, but you were sharing what you saw? And as you begin to speak it and kept saying it, I just sat thinking and sat looking in the spirit. Okay, okay, yes, okay, okay. Father, I not only permit and welcome that today, but I ask you that every single thing you've ever done for me, every single thing you've ever done for me, do for these 23. I beg of you, plead with you, covenant with you, cry out to you, everything you've ever done for me, for Dr. May, for Felicia, for Deborah, for Dr. Brown, for Apostle Sonia, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I decree it, Apostle Sonia. And God's given me things and pictures. He's giving me pictures right now. She is so in 2000. Dr. Sonia is sub a double portion. Wow. A double portion. Wow. God's given me instructions too, family. God's given me some instructions too, right now. Mm. I think you're going to be. You're going to see it. God's giving me instructions. We'll show you again on the screen both ways to sow. We'll show it to you in case some of you. This is, this is a little too strong. My spirit is so strong. I'm looking here, Julie. Mariana, Tina, Karen Renee, Georgia, Nadine, Dr. May. I'm looking here, Janet Holton, Jacques, Mary Bullard, Miss Marty, Dr. Brown, Zachary, Christy, Mary, Deborah Denby, Felicia, Leanne, Lavette, Pastor Anna. Miss Sonia's joining this. Is that you? That's you. Help. Uh, I was hoping. Did you know I was sitting here hoping? I know you're limited, but this is, this is God. You won't regret this. You will not regret this. I wish God would do everything for you he ever did for me. I decree it. Mary, the double portion seed of Apostle Sonia. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. This is one of the most sensitive days I've had in my lifetime. One of the most sensitive days I've had in my lifetime. If you weren't here for the first part, and I shared one of the most shocking things today. Shocking things. The essence, I turned down cash for days. I turned down cash for my villa, my house I've lived in, for close to 40 years since I was 36. And a preacher showed up this morning. Wow. A known preacher. Who didn't even know it was my house. And he asked my assistant, could I talk to Dr. Murdoch? 
I know him. I don't know what their final, I don't know what their final uh, decision will be. All I know is that when he started telling me he wanted to train young preachers on the seven acre property, I burst into tears. Wow. Debbie Mingo, oh Debbie, hadn't heard from you in a while, Debbie. Debbie believes in me. She believes in the ministry. Yes. If you want a screenshot, feel free to do so. But this is, this is about to, this could be the best year you ever had in your lifetime. Some of you is going to have double. There's at least four or five out of the 23 that your finances will double this year. It'll be more than you ever tasted before in your life. More than you've ever had in your life. More than you ever had in your life. Everybody believes in sowing, but I believe in reaping. Also, Yay. there's a difference. Yes. Oh, Dr. Brown, I love those words. Oh, I hope I remember that quote. Do you know what I love about you, Pastor Dr. Mike Murdoch? Everything. That's mm -hmm. about as good as you could say. Dr. Brown, you have no idea what that. I want to remember every one of those words you just wrote me. I want to remember them all my life. <sighs> all my life. Pastor Anna. Yes. As Miss Sonia shows the ministry screen, there's something bursting in your heart. Please share it. Dr. Murdoch, I'm speechless about Look what, how God is moving. Dr. Brown, hold on a Dr. Brown, I will tell you what that 3,000 is about in the days ahead. She just said the Holy Spirit just whispered to me to triple the seed of 3,000 during this wow. birthday month of April. In the coming days, I will tell you the power of that 3,000. I will tell you about it. Pastor Anna. Dr. Murdoch, there's so much in today's teaching. I wish we could re-air this over and over and over again. From the moment you started in what happened to you this morning, and for those that just joined us, I wish they would hear the story from the beginning because this is how it should be, how God leads you. It's really incredible. And as you were sharing, I just saw the Psalm 23 coming to life, Psalm 23 becoming a testimony. And there will be 23 people sowing personally to you. And I need to insist on this. There's 23 sowing personally to Dr. Murdoch's life. And I just saw the wealth whispers, like an explosion happening in the 23. And I'm just so thankful, Dr. Murdoch, that you would share what God is doing and uh, the way that God leads you and turn that into a school for us. Yes. I'm not speechless three times in my lifetime, but Today I'm at the point of being speechless. Deborah Dimpy. Thank you, Deborah, for letting me know that. Thank you, Deborah, for letting me know that. We hope to talk to you within just a few hours. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am just almost beside myself today. God said, let me do it my way. Let me do it my way. Let me do it my way. Be ready to walk away from anything when the Holy Spirit confirms to your heart. God won't let you hurt yourself. He'll, he'll stand by you. 
He'll walk through you through this place. He'll walk with you through this place. I am in a state of shock today, seeing the hand of God. Seeing the hand of God. I'm going to let Pastor Anna close out this. Pastor Anna, close it out as you feel, and I think we should re-air this and re-air it. I really think we should re-air this. Those that were not with us at 12 o'clock noon, it's about 1.35 now, hour and 35 minutes, but I've shared one of the most shocking testimonies. I think it's worth your time. I really think it's worth your time. I really do. Pastor Anna. Yes, sir. Would you take charge? Yes, Dr. Murdoch. Thank you so much, Dr. Murdoch, for this powerful testimony. What an inspiration. Family, please take a picture of the information on the screen for Dr. Murdoch's birthday. For those of you that would like to come and be a part of our conference coming up April the 17th and 18th, we start Easter Sunday at 10.30 a.m. And it will be all day. We will have meals for you. Monday also, we start at 12, and I hope that you will join us. If you are not able to come in person, we will have every session available to watch online, live on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter, Instagram. So please don't worry, you will not miss the conference. If you are coming, please register. You can register through the book number, the seat number. Our team is here live right now, or you can call the registration number. We want to know if you're coming, if you're a preacher of the gospel, if you're bringing children, if you're bringing guests, and also if, you're, uh, if your plans changed and you're not able to come, it would help us so much if you could let us know of that as well. We're going to show you a couple of videos. One of them is called Money 7, and the other one is Women 4. And I thank God for all of you that move swiftly to obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. And I cannot wait for what God is going to do. Please watch these two videos and then we'll be right back. Precious family, I'm so glad you joined us today for the wisdom world of Mike Murdoch. I have a great pack to present to you that you're going to love. Dr. Murdoch says, if you want to become a millionaire, invest in your mind. These seven books will make you succeed beyond your wildest dreams. The Law of Recognition, Secrets of the Richest Man Who Ever Lived, Seven Decisions That Will Decide Your Financial Wealth, 10 lies many people believe about money. 31 reasons people do not receive their financial harvest. 31 secrets for career success. Seven laws you must honor to have uncommon success. Money seven pack. Family order your copy today. The code number is 538 pack. 538 pack. And guess what? It's only $29. Can you believe that? Don't miss this great opportunity. For those of you that live around the world, we are not able to ship books outside of the United States, but we do have a wonderful option for you. Please visit our website, thewisdomcenter.tv button eight, section one, and you can download your copy today of Money 7 Pack. You will love this opportunity. Please write Dr. Murdoch. The P.O. box on the screen is for those of you that are sending your testimonies, your words. They matter to him more than you can imagine. Please write him today. God bless you and thank you for being a part of this love family.
Oh, family, I am so excited to present to you Women 4. Let me ask you this. Have you had any problems with your self-portrait? Do you need healing in your self-esteem? Dr. Murdoch has prepared a pack for every woman. You cannot miss this. We have Women 4, and I'll show you the books. Women 4 is only $20, and if you're interested, the pack code is PAC523, PAC523. You will receive The Uncommon Woman, The Uncommon Wife, The Proverbs 31 Woman, and The Unforgettable Woman. I cannot say this enough. If you want to bring healing to the heart of a woman, you must, you must so that books into her life. She will receive the mindset of a millionaire, the heart of a servant, and the future of a queen. Wisdom is the best gift on earth. We're back, beautiful family. Thank you so much for joining us. If you would like to order the books you saw in the videos, you can call the book number. And our team is here from now till 7 o'clock, every day from 12 to 7. I also want to remind you that we are not able to ship books outside of the United States, but you can go to the website, thewisdomcenter.tv, button 6, and you can download these amazing books that we just showed you. Today's teaching will be available as a $5 download on the main page, the home page of the website. Just click where it says 12 o'clock and you can download it in two hours. I hope that you'll be back live at 5. It's a very special month we just entered, celebrating Dr. Murdoch's birthday, 76 years. Can you believe that? We're so thankful and we are very grateful for you to be a part of this birthday month. We love you dearly, family. We'll see you back at five, Lord willing. Please watch the re-air. Share it with your friends. This is a very powerful teaching nobody should miss. God bless you, and let me pray for you. May the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace.